What's up guys, it's you and welcome back to Pokemon Showdown Live, episode number 55 on the channel. And um, I know last episode was a little bit rocky in my performance, so I'm going to hope to do a little bit better uh, today. But I don't think it should be too much of a problem, to be honest. Uh, I've played some warm-up matches, so hopefully I can come out of the gates a little bit better today and I'm not in the same kind of funk that I was in last time. I'm not quite sure what happened. Um, I was really tired after a long day of school. My calf is kind of bugging me, so, you know, it's whatever. This guy's a fat team. Oh, my God. And he's also using a Dunsparce. So hopefully I don't lose to a Dunsparce. Um... So, Chris said he wants a shout-out in his recording, or in my recording. So, uh, we're gonna go ahead and shout-out Chris. Uh, his channel will be linked in the description below. Uh, he uploads Toontown now. I'll also link his Pokemon channel in case he wants to get back to that. But anyway, I'm gonna, uh, go ahead and lead Omastar. Just because, uh, I do want my hazards up. He does have a Defogger and Skuntank, but, um, I'm not too worried. And I do have HP Fire on my Superior. Meaning that if I can weaken Slurpuff or force it to come in after I'm already at plus two, I think I just win if I can get rid of this. That's the only thing I need to do. Anyway, I'm going to go and get my rocks up uh, turn one because I don't really think his uh, thing will, and by his thing I mean his uh, Skun Tank. I don't think his Skun Tank will appreciate coming in on Scald, uh, even though I know they can be very bulky, which is pretty cool. He just ends up going for the T-Wave, which is fine. Um, I kind of want to make the very aggressive double into Rhyperior to put him in a bad position. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, it is kind of a risky play, but like Dunsparce can't really do anything to me. Um, my worry is that he doubles out into something like Tangrowth to take me on, which would really suck because then I have no way to... Then I have no way to beat Tangrowth other than trying to double out to my Omastar and sacking it, and I, and I kind of want hazards this battle, so it's like, you know, I, I don't really want to sack Omastar, but if I have to, I will. Uh, he just ends up going for his own rocks, which is fine. Uh, I don't think he can do anything to me, to be honest, so I'm going to go straight away for the rock polish, and uh, hopefully Rhyperior can continue his, actually, no, that's a dumb idea, isn't it? Uh, I'm going to go straight away for the EQ, rather, uh, as he just goes straight into Tangrowth. See, I told you that was a dumb idea. I just didn't have time to click the cancel button. Uh, anyway, I'm going straight out into Omastar right here. I'm going to go ahead and sack this. I don't mind sacking it too much because, um, you know, like, I have my rocks up. If he wants to defog, he'll defog away his own rocks. So, you know, I'll, I'll probably take that trade right there just because... Like, rocks don't annoy my team a lot, but I do have a Mega Pidgeot. So, I, like, basically, the message that I'm trying to get across right here is that, you know, if he wants to defog, that's fine. I wouldn't, like, it's not going to kill me if he does defog. So, he ends up going for a sub, so he is sub seed, which is kind of annoying. I wish I had Ice Beam right now, but, you know, Haze generally is better. And, uh, I'm just going to go straight away for the Haze right here. I don't... Does he have a grass type stab? That's that's the real question. Um, and what are the rest of his moves? Uh, he goes for the infestation. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna go for the haze. And oh, never mind. I'm getting haze mixed up with clear smog. Haze doesn't actually deal damage. I'm a genius. I'm gonna go for another spike right here uh, because now I can start putting a lot of pressure on his team, which is pretty cool. And uh, hopefully, then I can. Like, my goal in this battle is to sweep with Contrary Superior, so if I can do that, I'll be pretty happy. He ends up going for another Infestation, and I get another layer of Spikes up, which is cool. So, if I can just continue to get my Spikes up this battle and pressure him, that will be very, very nice. Um, but I think right here I'm just going to go straight out into Pidgeot. Actually, Meloetta would be a Lord Flare right here, I think. Um... Yeah, I'm going to go out to Meloetta because I can just Hyper Voice and uh, it won't be too big of an issue because basically my mindset right here is if he does go out in a Jail Ascent predicting Hyper Voice, that's fine for me because I can then um, get a pretty safe switch out into Superior and start doing some damage as he just, like, he got blown back. He was there and then he was gone, so uh, that's pretty good for me. And... 
I guess his switch right here is gonna be this, unless he fears me going, unless he fears like the Shadow Ball or something, but judging by that damage, he should know him specs. Uh, he goes out in a Skun Tank, which is weird. Does that outspeed me? That doesn't outspeed me. Uh, I'm going for Hyper Voice either way. I want these hazards out of here, and the quicker I can get them out of here, the better. So, um, I'd imagine he's just going to try to defog right here, because the hazard situation is not looking very good for him at all. And uh, even if he doesn't, I can fake out plus high jump kick with Hitmonlee, and that should knock him out from that range. As he does try to defog, which uh, is a little unfortunate for him, because he's just gone. And, um, so Meloetta is putting in a ton of work, as per the usual. Meloetta is actually a really cool Pokemon. It's been one of my favorite Pokemon to use when I've been playing this tier. But I'm gonna go out into Sur uh, Superior... Sur blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna go out into Superior right here, because I do think it can just clean up the game from this point forward. Unless he gets a Scald Burn, which would suck. As he goes... Same. I'm gonna go for the Leaf Storm right here, and uh, hopefully not hit myself in Confusion. That would suck if I get hit in Confusion. Um, this thing also gets, like, refresh or something like that, but no, I don't hit myself in confusion, so that's nice, as he ends up going for the Willow. Um, I'm gonna go for another Leaf Storm right here that may seem kind of greedy, but, like, I have no reason to click Giga Drain right here. It would be nice to get some health back. Hopefully, I just snap out right here, knock him out, and just clean up the game with Superior, and then he can whine about how he thinks Superior is broken in the chat. Uh, anyway, I break through two times in a row, so, uh, he actually disables my... Leaf Storm, so that's a little unfortunate, but now at least I can go for the Giga Drain next turn versus something. Um, my only fear right here is that he goes into Slurpuff and gets the Belly Drum off while I hit myself in Confusion. Uh, hopefully I just, like, snap out and don't have to run that risk, because it would honestly suck a lot if I lose this game due to something like that. <sighs> Don't you just love it when stuff like this happens? <laughs> Alright, so now I gotta reassess my situation for winning. What can win for me? Um, spamming Specs Hyper Voice does a lot to his team. Maybe he's running zero speed. No, he's not. Um, and that actually sucks. Uh, actually, I have him only right here. So I just gotta hope I hit Stone Edge. That's all I really gotta do, and then I can uh, win this game. Because I, like, that's kind of my un unburden, so to speak. Um, well, it is my unburden. No duh, we have the same ability. It, I meant to say this is my Slurpuff. Sir, Slurpuff. Wow, I cannot talk today. Slurpuff, so to speak, because it does come in against faster teams and get its boost and all that stuff. Um, so he flinches right there, which is nice. No duh. And I'm going to go for the Stone Edge right here. And I got to pray that this knocks him out. I don't really have any other option. Um, if I could crit him, that'd be nice to make up for the uh, thing that happened. Uh, he doesn't e even die. That's unfortunate. Um, this Meloid is not going to be able to take one unless he misses. Rhyperior is going to get knocked out by a Drain Punch. See, this is really unfortunate. This is really unfortunate. Because, like, I clearly had the better team. And he should have just lost to Superior. Because, you know. So, another frustrating episode, but it's okay. It's okay. Um, maybe he'll miss a play rough. I guess that's, like, what I need to have happen in order, in order to win, which would be uh, pretty nice. But, also, I guess this is a good time to talk about this. I'll probably make a separate announcement video about, talking about this. Um, but I made it into this Wi-Fi league called the LBA, which is pretty cool. My team name is the Tampa Bay Thunderous, and uh, hopefully... I can make that a thing on my channel as he doesn't miss his play rough. That's one. Um, I can still win. I can still win. I need him to miss his play rough. And then I maybe will be able to sweep him with this if I can get an SD up. And if I can get an SD up versus Dunsparce. So I'm going to go for the Hyper Voice right here. I do think it is my only play. I got to hope that he misses the play rough. Or he just switches out or does something stupid. But honestly, that's kind of a dumb battle. Um, oh, honestly, be pretty surprised. Well, I'm, I won't be pretty surprised if I upload this. He hits another player. Ain't that a problem. Uh, I'm going to go straight out into this, though. And I'm going to click Rock Polish because...
Alright, so, typical Geo Salt in the chat. <laughs> um, because that's kind of dumb, because he would have clearly died to the plus two, plus four Giga Drain at that point. Um, so, you know, if you guys did enjoy today's episode of, uh... Alright, if you guys did enjoy today's episode of Pokemon Showdown Live, please make sure to leave a like, because it really does help show support for the stuff that I'm doing here on the channel. Also, make sure to answer today's common question of the video, which is, oh, have you guys ever tried out Slurpuff? It's probably the... Well, I wouldn't necessarily say it's better than Aromatis. Aromatis is pretty cool install, but you know. What are your experiences with the 6th sixth, sixth Gen Fairy duo of Slurpuff and Aromatis? And with that, I urge you guys to subscribe. If you guys are enjoying the constant content, and with that, I'll catch you on the flip-flop. <laughs>